So SD-809 or deuterated tetrabenazine or dutetrabenazine is a uh, chemically altered form of tetrabenazine. Uh, so the molecule is actually built from the ground up using deuterium instead of hydrogen in a few key places. And deuterium is a stable, non-radioactive form of hydrogen that causes stronger bonds. And so this is a medication that gets into the body slower, essentially, um, even though it can deliver the same amount of drug. And so if you have less of a peak in terms of a drug getting into the body, then theoretically there are less peak dose side effects. And that's the one advantage of deuterated tetrabenazine over the non-deuterated forms. The data from the double-blind placebo-controlled study called FIRST HD was actually presented at last year's American Academy of Neurology meeting, and it showed that it significantly reduced chorea compared to placebo. What I presented today was looking at not only chorea, but other aspects of movement that's involved in Huntington's disease. And broadly speaking, we talk about Korea, we talk about dystonia, we talk about eye movements, and Parkinsonism, this other set of movements that can cause a lack of, a lack of voluntary movements, uh, slowness or rigidity, things like that, that we typically think of that goes with Parkinson's um, and the Parkinson-like disorders that you can see in Huntington's as well. And so what we saw looking at the overall picture in terms of motor scores in Huntington's disease using deuterated tetrabenazine is that it reduced chorea which we've already known, that was the primary outcome, but it also reduced dystonia, and it did not worsen the Parkinsonism side of Huntington's disease. And so that's really what I talked about today.